The Acolytes star Jody Turner-Smith calls out Disney for not doing more to defend cast from online abuse. This is Mark Cassidy at Comic Book Movie. Jody Turner-Smith, who played Mother uh, Anicia in The Acolyte, has called out Disney for not doing enough to defend the cast, particularly Amanda Steinberg, when they were targeted for online abuse. Back in August, we got word that Lucasfilm and Disney would not be moving forward with the second season of the Disney Plus Star Wars series, despite several major storylines and character arcs being left unresolved by the end of the season one finale. The decision was met with a mixture of indifference and disappointment, but it's very clear that a lot of Star Wars fans and some of the actors involved with the show were surprised by this development. The official reason for the show's cancellation was low slash declining viewership, but many feel the intense backlash from a vocal minority may have factored into the decision. We never know if this was the case, but Steinberg did release a social media video shortly after the news broke, revealing that she had been sent a barrage of racist and homophobic abuse. Now, Turner Smith has put Disney on blast for not doing more to defend her co-star. They've got to stop doing this where they don't say anything when people are getting fucking dogpiled on the internet with racism and bullshit, the actress tells Glamour Magazine. It's just not fair to not say anything. It's really unfair. It would just be nice if the people that have all the money were showing their support and putting their feet down, she continued. Say this is unacceptable. You're not a fan if you do this. Make a really big statement and just see if any money leaves. I bet you it won't because people of color, especially black people, make up a very large percentage of buying power. They might find that it's actually more lucrative for them and everyone's using woke like it's a dirty word. Obi-Wan Kenobi star uh, Ewan McGregor did share a video calling out racist fans after Moses Ingram was targeted for similar online abuse but disney has never officially spoken out some view this as cowing down to those responsible for the attacks while others believe ignoring the trolls is the best course of action all right so here's why i wanted to cover this story first of all let me just start as a precursor i haven't seen the acolyte i haven't i i still don't know if i plan on ever seeing it one way or the other so i can't speak to the quality of the show it's not what i'm talking about here i'm not interested in that honestly plenty of people that love to talk star wars you can talk about that all day argue with your mom and not me i don't give a fuck all right why i did want to talk about this is exactly what jody turner smith was talking about it definitely has been a disgusting practice to throw all sorts of racism at actors of color in star wars it is definitely something that has been happening um you, you started it, you kind of set the tone in The Force Awakens by having Finn on the poster pretty prominently in America and around the world, but the minute it goes to China, he's either not on it at all or really in the back and downplaying him as much as possible. And then the idea that you continue to do that throughout and diminish his character in the next couple of films, whether that was a decision from China or whatever it was, you took a very interesting, fun character that was clearly growing and you made him a backseat passenger to the whole thing. I, I think you, you never had that situation if the, the the core trio was supposed to be ray uh finn and poe you didn't see luke leia and han where all of a sudden han just kind of shoved to the back that's not a thing that was happening at all all three of them are made prominent throughout you might have had them some on screen more than others but they still all had very prominent roles and remain that way throughout the whole of the story so i'm not saying it needed to be an exact copy where you know finn and ray got together or anything like that like I do think that would have been stronger than the Ben Solo shit, but that's me personally. But it, it was not lost on me that Finn was pulled out. It was not lost on me that Kelly Marie Tran was run off the fucking internet because people just didn't like Rose. And not just like a, hey, I don't like this character. Personal attacks against her on social media. All sorts of racist shit popping off. The Moses Ingram is another situation. Whether you like the character or not in Obi-Wan, and, and I feel some type of way about the show that I thought it was all right at best, the bullshit being levied towards her was absolutely that bullshit. So this is just another case over again where you're seeing that with Acolyte. Again, if you didn't like the show, that's fine. You're allowed to express that. But don't also tell me that, oh, it's just, it's just what you're kind of saying. It exists out there. It is very much out there for all of the genuine criticism that may have been levied at the show because you thought it was a bad show. I have seen just as much racism or you go, well, you go broke bullshit. And I appreciate Jody for speaking out on that shit because this is a problem. You are going to end up in a situation where why would people necessarily want to sign up for so well, like people of color want to sign up for Star Wars at all if you're not going to be protected by your parent company, by the company that's paying you. You would expect an employee to protect its employees, or an employer to protect its employees. That's something that you would absolutely expect to happen. And 
it's just one of those situations where you're going to start losing out on some of the strongest actors and directors and content creators out there just because they don't feel safe working with you because you're not going to help them out when shit pops off. Like I, that's John Boyega is incredibly talented and to know that we may not get him in the MCU or any other Disney project is because of bad taste left in his mouth. Fucking crazy. And, and I genuinely think that people need to grow the fuck up. I don't have a problem with people having a difference of opinion. I don't have a problem with people not liking the same things. That's, that's what life is supposed to be. We're all individuals. We grow up in different places. We have different experiences, but the fucking disrespect that happens is out of fucking control. And I appreciate, again, Jody speaking out on it. Let me know what you think one way or the other. To answer the question again, was it possibly because people were shit talking the show? Yeah, but when you find out what the budget was for the show, you can't have that budget and have a situation where it wasn't universally received. Like when you spend that kind of money, everybody has to love it. That's the thing. You spend a little less money, you can deal with stuff back and forth. We kind of talked about this on Capes and Cows about Agatha all along. The numbers aren't crazy, but they didn't spend a lot of money. And so you're getting the audience that you want to watch the show. And therefore, you can take risks and you can do what's already been talked about another spinoff. Uh, to, I don't want to ruin any. There's a potential spoiler there. So I'm going to be quiet specifically on what they're spinning off and things like that. But again, I truly believe good or bad one way or the other with the show, that budget tied with the drama is what got that shut down, but that does not excuse Disney not calling out the racism. But I want to know what you think, man. Let me know down in the comments. I said it once. I'll say it again. You're disrespectful. I bounce your ass. I don't give a fuck, all right?